What's up, everyone? I'm James Young with jamesyoungphotography.com, and I'm bringing you episode number 13 of Teach Me How to Lightroom. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how to edit engagement photos and to give them a matte finish. We're going to take things to the warmer side of the color temperature spectrum, and we're going to take this image here and turn it into this. Now, don't forget, there's a link to the raw file in the description of this video so you can follow along or maybe even take the edit in a completely different direction. Either way, I would love to see what you do with it. Post it on social media and tag me in it so that I can see all of my social media is down in the description below as well. Well, let's get into the edit. Now, when I'm doing edits, usually the first thing I do is apply a medium contrast curve directly into the tone curve. And earlier I talked about we're gonna go to the warmer side of the spectrum with things. So we're gonna start that off by going directly to the color temperature slider and moving this up a little bit. And let's go to about 5800 Kelvin. I like where that's getting us right off the start. With the exposure slider, we're leaving that exactly where it's at. I'm totally happy with the in-camera exposure. Now for our contrast slider, we're gonna go to plus 30 on this. There we go, plus 30, perfect. Now for our highlights, you can see here on the guy's hand, it's a little bit brighter than the rest of the total image. So I wanna bring down the highlights just a little bit, somewhere around minus 25 or so. That looks good, perfect. With our shadows, we do wanna bring these up just a little bit to bring some of the detail out in the hair. So let's go to about plus 35, fantastic. And then with our whites, we want to bring these down as well for the same reason as the highlights. Just a little bit though, only minus 10. Then for the blacks, we want to bring these down just a little bit as well, somewhere around minus 25. Now you can see we're being pretty subtle with the basic adjustments here, but you'll see as we stack and stack and stack all of these subtle adjustments, we're going to create quite a substantial difference. So as we continue to make our way down the basic panel, let's take a look at our clarity slider. We're gonna bring this down to about minus 15. The reason why we're doing this is it's pretty close up portrait of these two and the clarity really drives the mid-tones contrast. And where you see the most of that is in the edges. So naturally with humans, we're gonna wanna soften those dark edges. It just makes everybody look a lot better. With the vibrance, we're gonna bring the vibrance down quite a bit. And what the vibrance slider controls is really the total saturation of the cooler tones of the image. So when we're doing an edit that pushes the warmer tones, it makes sense for us to reduce the vibrance a little bit. Now conversely, on the saturation, we're gonna to wanna to increase this just a little bit, somewhere about plus 10, fantastic. Now the saturation slider does control the overall saturation of all the colors, but it does have a high emphasis on the warmer tones. And the reason why we don't want to go too high with this is because it can really start affecting the skin tones in a really negative way. When you're editing portraits, you really want to avoid cranking the slider too high. You can see here, this looks just, it looks awful. It looks, it looks terrible. So we'll do only plus 10 on that much better. Now let's do a couple more color edits here. So we've made our way to the HSL sliders and we're gonna go specifically into the saturation. Now with this, we wanna cut some of the overall saturation that's found within the skin tones. So we'll start with red and we're gonna go about minus 35 or so. Nothing too dramatic. With our orange, we're only gonna go about minus 10. Now keep in mind this was shot during golden hour so the light coming off and hitting them is going to have a lot more of the warmer tones to it, which lends itself to a lot of orange in the skin tones. So you really, really, really wanna be careful with the orange saturation slider. You don't wanna do something like this and like totally knock out all their skin tones, make them look like zombies. That's just a terrible idea. So you really wanna be super subtle with the orange slider there. Now with the yellow, we're only gonna come down about minus five. And with the greens, we're only gonna come down about minus 15 or so. Perfect. And again, these are all lots and lots of subtle changes here, but they're gonna all add up to a really substantial difference. So you can see we only modified four sliders here. And, and of those four sliders, really we only went minus 35 on one of them. But when we turn off that slider and turn it back on, 
you can see it's making quite a bit of difference in the skin tones there. It's awesome. So now that the last of the color grading is done, let's take a look at the tone curve. And we want to hit this with a matte finish, meaning we're going to mute and raise the blacks. And we do this with the tone curve. So we'll take the node that's second from the left and double click it to remove it. Perfect. Then we take the node that is all the way to the left and we start to raise that. And you can see immediately it taking effect, especially on the hair. Perfect, let's go somewhere around there. About 11% up, fantastic. So just a couple last things I wanna to do to completely round out this image. I'm gonna scroll down to the effects and I'm gonna add a post crop vignette. Now again, this is gonna be another subtle change. I'm only gonna do about minus 10 on the vignette. I don't wanna do anything crazy. Don't be this person. And for sure, don't be this person. Only minus 10, that's plenty. And then the last thing, I edit my portraits with the intent to print. So I'm gonna go up to detail. And under sharpening, I'm gonna increase it from 25, which Lightroom starts us out with. And I'm gonna go up to 70. Because of that, it does bring out just a little bit of noise. So I'm gonna go about 30 on the luminance slider on noise reduction. Okay, perfect. I'm super happy with the way this turned out. Let's take a look at before, and then let's take a look at where we ended up. Bam, I love that. I can't wait to print this out, maybe on some matte paper to really increase the matte finish effect that we did digitally. And your portrait clients would be very happy to receive something that looks like this. Well, if you liked this edit, make sure to make a preset of it so that you can use it as a foundational piece in one of your edits in the future. If you downloaded the raw file and you followed along or made some tweaks to it, make sure to post it and tag me in it so I can see all of my social media as well as the raw file download link is in the description down below. Well, I'm James Young of jamesyoungphotography.com and this is Teach Me How to Lightroom. Lightroom.